Actually, uh, we're going to do a we're going to do a dish that uh, I was in Portugal about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. doing a promotion there. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a dish that, that, were, that was quite common down there. So I thought I'd uh, bring it over and do it here. And what's it called? It's a uh, shrimp and monkfish. What? What? Come on. What's oh. the Portuguese name? Um, <laughs> So make so, say something really yeah. fancy, <laughs> and we'll, 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 we'll buy it. Yeah, just put it <laughs> with a fancy um, accent. <laughs> Camarão okay. e arroz com uh, tomate. I knew that. See? You knew with that. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Now you say it. Ah, monkfish and shrimp with tomatoes. <laughs> and this is um. So you just picked this up a couple weeks ago. So you're experimenting on us, essentially, is what you're saying, aren't you, Manny? No, I've done it a couple times okay. already. Uh, it could be. Uh, What's that? Is that okay, so we got some olive oil, Portuguese olive oil. Mm. We got some garlic. Okay. Some olive garlic already. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go some onions. Okay. So I actually, it should actually be done in the uh, in that crock right there that I brought That's down a there. Crock. Uh, made out of clay. Okay. So what they do, uh, they put on the stove. They start frying uh, lots of oh, tons of olive oil. Mm. I mean, like that much olive oil they'll put in there. Eh? Wow. What's well, good I for your heart? Absolutely. <laughs> You can just drink it out of well, the bowl. At least they enjoy like life. No, not to mention the olive oil growers. <laughs> I, was, I was down there. It was really uh, kind of cool. I was down there in, uh, it was the Sheridan Hotel in Lisbon. Oh, yeah. And in the cafeteria, they got wine on tap for the staff. I mean, they got draft on tap, and they got wine for the staff. For the staff? Oh, yeah. In the back? In the back, yeah. They go uh, uh -huh. they go have their lunch or dinner, and they help themselves. It's, I mean, like, you had about 40 <laughs> bottles of wine. Apparently, <laughs> work <laughs> just declines right after lunch. I'm giving up daytime to go do, uh, was it serve in, in Portugal? In yeah. And what they used to have also before was, um, they, they used to have a full bar. They got a TV because they, they have a lounge for the staff. Can you believe this? Yeah. It's like, okay, are wow. we getting this, the working <laughs> conditions in Portugal compared to here? Well, around here we have cups. Yeah. You know, that's about our big perk. Sometimes we get free water. Mm. So we're, uh, we're pretty happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have um, our shrimp, 1620 shrimps. Some monkfish in here. Okay. I put some. Um, it's a Portuguese uh, chili paste. Yeah. Mm. Which is, is brilliant, by the way. I love that stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, they use it in everything. Well, people make their own, do they not? Uh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. I thought so. Those hot fingers after the day. Because you got to seed it. I played in the conjunct. Conjunct. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie's doing what? Uh huh. Yeah. Huh? You get free <laughs> beer and wine. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I'm still stuck on that. I can't get past it. I know. So how long um, is this? It seems like it takes, doesn't take very long to cook. No, it doesn't. Well, um, the way they, like classically they would do, they would take that crock, the mm -hmm. olive oil, the onions, the garlic. They would put uh, the rice in there, which I brought some rice already cooked. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the time to do it all. So they would put the rice in there, cook, put the lid on it, throw it in the oven, cook it. Mm -hmm. So it would take longer, actually, than the conventional way. Oh, yeah, way. Okay. totally. Yeah. And then you would throw it in the oven. So maybe about, uh, say, 20 minutes, take it out when it's three-quarters cooked, put your seafood right into it, mm -hmm. uh, put your uh, some tomato paste, into we're going to put that in after mm -hmm. and then after um, uh, put it back in the oven for a couple another five minutes finish it off take it out some olive oil mm. and you throw in your tomatoes fresh coriander mm. at the end mix it in serve it in the crock that sounds good yeah it is it's really good is this something you're adding to the uh, menu at Valhalla um, thank you actually we're going to add some uh, desserts Oh, so to learn how to do that. Do pretty tell. Cool. <laughs> did, did you make? Um, oh, I, I can't even bother pronouncing it. I don't even know what it's called. It's kind of like a trifle. With the graham crackers on the bottom, and then the light layer. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, I, I'll have to figure it out. It's something like a plate piece of the sky or something is its translation. I'll get back to you on that, man. <laughs> I haven't tried that. The, uh, the, there's these tarts that they have. Um, it's like a custard. The custards? Oh, the best yeah. thing in the world. So uh, we, we made the dough. I mean, every day they were making it fresh down there. And uh, make the dough from uh, scratch, I and mean, that took about 20 minutes just rolling it out. It's crispy dough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yes. It looks like about ten, seven, about seven to ten layers. Mm. Yeah, Is there good. anything we can do to help you? No, just almost. Just take no time at all here. Okay. Mm. What's this here? A little bit of tomato sauce. Okay. We have a little bit of fish stock. A little fish stock, okay? Oops. All right. So did, did that hour throw you off? Did you show up at like, uh, you know, 10 2 this morning? Or I was off, early? thank God. <laughs> was it off? Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, the day just went like that, eh? Yeah, yeah. yesterday, yeah. It was unbelievable. <laughs> so is this essentially done? I'm very impatient. Yes, yeah, you it's are. It's only taking you two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so are you done? I'm going to put some tomato, a uh, little bit of tomato sauce in here. Yeah. Got any big plans over the summer there, Manny? Anything uh, coming up? Any uh, going to Portugal. Uh, Again? Well, Again. to the Azores. Well, this is, it was a working vacation, really. Oh, okay. Take some of this here. Well, that's because the boss is watching right now. You have to say that. Yeah, was no, like, we I know was you were busy, busy working. Yes. It was definitely was a working uh, vacation. Just on the floor of the cafeteria with some of the workers. Just having fun. See, look, he's in the time zone. Today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So, uh, is it nice weather over there in Lisbon? It was about eighteen twenty every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Very nice. I would take that right about now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was nice. Well, we're out there in the t-shirt every day. Oh, sounds good, huh? Okay. We're almost it smells there. really good. It does. So, um, tomato is also a big staple food in Portugal? Yeah, seafood large, a lot of seafood, a lot of oh. fresh fruit, oranges, mm -hmm. bananas. I mean, I had fruit every morning. It was really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and giant trays of custards, man. If you ever go down to Little Portugal downtown there, that's all you'll see in the bakeries. Tray after tray of those uh, wonderful custards. Mm. So, no, we're, we're, we're being told that we have to taste this. Darn. From taste the director it. upstairs, so we can taste this? Taste it, please. Let me try a little, please. Looks good, man. It looks good, pal. Is it I'm gonna wait to see if it's too mm. Oh, no, go ahead. Good. Mm. How was that? Bless you. That's excellent. The cilantro is just perfect. What do you think? Huh? And we're all sharing out of a communal pot, which I think is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. For information and reservations, call 416-239-2391. I do apologize. You got me giggling.